Hey, apologies for the poor lighting here. I'll make this real quick. So yeah, the root of all uh, suffering, not just after a breakup, but <sighs> breakup is a huge one. I've heard people say that um, dealing with a breakup is, hard, is more hard or can be more hard than dealing with a death. And I've dealt with several deaths and... Uh, yeah, for me, it, a breakup was it's the hard, it's the hardest thing so far that I have experienced. I'm not going to go into all of that. I'm sure if there's anyone out there who's come across this and is going through a breakup, especially in the first three months of it, it's just brutal, brutal. Um, I just want you to all understand that um, it's going to be. You're not going to be able to do much right now. It's going to take time. But <clears throat> a really important thing to remember is that the root of everything, all, all your suffering is, that you've gone from just kind of being and getting on with things to thinking. And the root of all suffering is when, see, humans, we, we go through life, in a, most of us, in, in some sort of harmony and balance. It's the balance between our heart and our mind. Another word for that is our love and our acceptance and our desire to live and do everything. And then the mind that's like always afraid, always cautious, always saying, watch out. Now, when we get hurt, the mind takes over. The mind's like, hey, fuck you, heart. Take a back seat. You look what you've done. It's because of you we've gotten here. I'm going to be in control now. It's like the plane is on autopilot. Everything is great. And the plane all of a sudden hits turbulence, really bad turbulence. And then the pilot has to say, right, I'm going to take control. Now... A plane is so complex, and yet nothing compared to your uh, a human body. So to, to try to take control of, of everything with your mind, it's overwhelming. And in fact, it's not possible to do for a long period of time, because you're just going to suffer, and it's just, it's just horrible existence when you're just a slave to your fears, because that's what the mind is all about. It's all about, be careful, watch out, don't do this, don't do this. And how does the mind help us by doing that? Or how does, how does that manifest? It's through anxiety, through sadness. So what the mind basically wants is for us to be as safe as possible. And the mind, the way the mind thinks will be safest is if we're just isolated, we're in a room, there's no people around, there's as few threats as possible. Now, that's a really fucking sad, depressing, lonely way to live, and most people live like that, unfortunately. The heart is the total opposite. The heart is like, let's go, I want to go out and, you know, just... It, it's so loving. Like I always say in my videos, it's like when you're when you're a baby, the baby just is all heart, and it hasn't learned much fear. It doesn't know what to be afraid of. So, if it sees a, a fire, the baby will. It's all love. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. I want to touch that. And then it learns, and then you know, in the future, it's not going to have as much fun with the fire. You know, it's going to avoid the fire. And it's the same with pain. Any pain. So just know that right now you've been hit really hard in the stomach and the mind's like, emergency, emergency, I'm taking control. And what is, I want this to be a video in two ways. Like if you're going through a breakup right now, I just want you to be aware of that, that there's this, there's a, a hurricane of thoughts in your head and most of them are going to be about your ex, what you did wrong, how can you get them back, <sighs> are you ever going to be happy again, is your life over, you know, all this stuff, you know. So 
just know that it's just totally normal. Everyone goes through this. I went through this. I'm still going through it. But be aware of what's going on. It's your mind's just kind of coming in to try to protect you and to take over. Um, in the end, you have to set a goal to overcome those fears because this whole period of suffering through a breakup, it's basically the mind trying to um, exert its influence right down to our DNA by teaching our body. Um, so this period of breakup is a period of conditioning. It's a period where the mind is like going to condition you. And it's so important how you're going to be conditioned during a breakup because if you allow the mind to just do what it wants to do without your awareness, it's going to potentially condition you to like avoid relationships in the future, to like be afraid, to like not have such an open heart. It, there's a lot of things that your mind thinks it's helping with, but in our modern day society, it doesn't help. So it's so important to go through your breakup with awareness of this and then try to counter the mind's desire to condition the body. And, and it's not magic. It, this is science. <laughs> Believe me, the way it works is when you think of something over and over and over and over and over and over again, what you're exercising and what you're creating is a belief. And when you say that, oh, I suck in relationships or I have a problem, or whatever, you, whatever negative thought you say over and over, and positive thoughts, it works positively, so this is where we can help ourselves. But whatever negative thought you say over and over and over and over, it becomes a belief. And a belief is not as easy to deal with as thoughts. Once thoughts are happening, you can guide your thoughts and be like, no, that's not true, and then think of something that's going to help you more. But if you, like most people, just are just in the hurricane and they're without realizing it, just being every day, every day thinking something negative during their breakup, it becomes a belief. And when it becomes a belief, it's just what you believe in. You're going to say women are evil or men, all guys suck, you know, or love is stupid, or marriage is, like, unnatural. Whatever, yeah? It's going to become a belief. <laughs> and, and the mind's created it to try to protect you. So it's very important that through this period of conditioning, you look at it like, have you seen how they forge the samurai swords, that the most strongest blades on the planet, it's folded steel, and they beat it, and they beat it, and they beat it, and they just keep conditioning the, the steel, the blade, until it's so super strong, and it's until it's shaped in a way that they, they want. And that's what you want to do during this period, is you want to be aware of what your thoughts are doing, because your thoughts are the hammer that's going to beat down on the blade that's going to become your new belief system. And after a belief system, after beliefs, what happens is it goes further back down and it turns into instinctual responses. What that means is after it's a reinforced belief that you've had for so long, it'll be like, I'm afraid of women or I'm afraid of guys. So when you go on a date, you're just going to be terrified where you're going to have just literally physical, like adrenaline, the, the body, it's all now <clears throat> gone from thought to beliefs right into your subconscious, and your subconscious in, is tied to your instincts. And the reason that it works like that is because um, f in order for us to survive better, there's some things that it's good that we don't have control over. Like if a lion jumps up, boom, adrenaline. You don't want to have time to think. So that's why your instinct is there. So it's so important to be aware of how this, what you're feeding your mind. It's like a digestive system, okay? And it winds up in the body, in your cells. Um, look, you know, YouTube cellular memory. Um, 
instinctual responses. So be very careful what is going on in here. Most people aren't even aware of what their thoughts are. They're just like this, just think, you know, doing their job, doing their whatever, but they're just thinking about their ex, oh, you know, this, this, this. So first step, be aware of what's going on. And then, second step is to guide your thoughts. Make sure that whatever turns into a belief is going to be a good, positive belief that's going to help you, that you know is going to help you in this world. Like, you know, you will fall in love again. You know, um, you are going to become stronger than you ever were. Um, so, you know what all the positive things are. I don't need to tell all of you guys out there. That. You you know already, so just do it. Don't don't um, don't feel um, sorry for yourself. Don't try to hurt yourself by turning yourself into a loner or some you know someone just isolated. Don't do it to yourself. Don't. We. It's just not worth it. You're gonna waste a lot of time. I've been through it. It's darkness is overrated. It's way more fun to just enjoy, you know, life and connecting with people. So focus on your awareness of your thoughts.